in this video i'm going to explain how i work with environment variables if you don't know why environment variables are used please let me know in the comments so i can point you to the right resources this is a bare bones rails application with figaro for managing environment variables from a file figaro reads the config slash application file and loads its values in the env hash the config slash application file is git ignored so that you don't accidentally enter the sensitive data in your git repository. How this works is you and you basically embed the environment variable in your application like this and you, you run the application. When the application runs this is what you see. This is super secret is the value we see over here and this is super, super secret was the value we were trying to show. Uh, the super secret and important key is this. So if we change this to, I don't know, change this because I'm so creative and I restart the server, the value changes over here as well. This works really well when the environment variables are few and you're the sole developer. However, this quickly turns into a problem as your environment variables are scattered all over the code base. So for example, if I go to application HAML file and I add this little code over here which basically reads and prints this message and if this value is false, it doesn't print this or if that value is true, it prints this. I go and I restart the server and I refresh the page. So as expected, another variable is showing but this should show if so message is true is showing which we really didn't want the environment variable can only have string resources so when we actually put false over here it reads this false as a false string which tests as a truthy value and goes ahead and print, prints this so there are multiple problems with using environment variable directly like this in your code base there is no list in the repository for new developers to set their own environment variables the environment variables are spread in the code base which makes it tough to change a variable name so for example tomorrow because of some weird configuration you need to change this another to another underscore to another underscore two then you'll have to find lots and lots of places to change this which is kind of difficult to do and as we saw for non-string values we need to convert it to a boolean value or a integer value or whatever we're trying to do like this to overcome these problems i use the secrets shipped with rails i populate them from the environment variables and then use the resulting secrets hash all over my code base to use that i go to the original pay original line and change the environment part with rails dot application dot secrets dot you just copy this and paste it over here so this works just like a normal env would work for the show messages variable we don't have to do this everywhere we have to use it we can just go over here the cool thing is that secrets.yml is read with embedded ruby so we can directly put this thing here and we'll get a boolean value over here because this is not an environment variable it's reading into it's a ruby object so yeah the application.yml is actually showing false over here so this thing should not print we hit refresh and it's not showing so now i go to the application yaml file and change this false to true and i restart the server and it works the secrets loads the value in a ruby object and not in the environment hash so it has more flexibility on the data types it can support this is why we can have non-string values here like booleans as we just did I want to address one big problem. The writing rails.application.secrets everywhere is going to be cumbersome and it's not really developer friendly to say the least. So we go to application.rb file and we create 
a secrets variable which is nothing but just a placeholder for rails or application dot secrets uh, doing this what we can do is completely remove that thing with just this secrets dot show underscore message and secrets dot super underscore secret just to make sure that this works we reload the page and it works the same so similarly we can do this for secrets another variable as well we just write secrets dot another and we go there go here and write we restart the server and we refresh it and it works the same so for example now if we want if we have to change this another 2 to another 21 we can do it very easily but by just changing this thing over here since secrets.yml file is going to be committed to git repository a new de developer can just look at this one file and set all their variables accordingly and i don't have to write duplicative conversion code like this all over my code base and another thing which i can do is have a sanity measure like i can raise an error over here please set another 21 if the value is not present so since the value is present the server should start without any problem if we don't have this value the server should give me an error and lo and behold it gave me an error please set another error for 21 good luck doing that with just the env hash now rails 5.1 did ship with encrypted secrets which are meant to be committed to source code and decrypted on the server using an encryption key this does look very promising but i am not relying on it just yet although it is worth keeping an eye on this new technique won't need to go through so much of configuration with this new approach thank you so much for watching this video please let me know what feedback you have and if you have any questions in the comments down below i hope to create more such videos in the future bye bye